Hello and welcome back to Hot Find 4 with our Russia campaign. We're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. Slowly but surely we are making progress into the Russian mainland. I think that's uh, the big beauty of what we're doing right now. Uh, my army is slowly progressing. Uh, most of it is still done by our special forces, but they're making progress. Can we actually penetrate their tanks? I need to find a battle which contains some... Yeah, this is a tank battle. Uh, yep, okay, we can pierce the enemy armor, good. But these are... Yeah, no, these do contain main battle tanks, so... Uh, I was looking at the model, this is like a KV-1, so it's like maybe it's just they're using heavy tanks, but that's not what they are. Let's see what we got. Okay, got, got close air support. Assign that to you. Alright, so what am I actually am gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna take a look at these guys that have been fighting. I hope I'm trying to get the skill staffer thing going. You got nothing. You got something for me? No. Do you get something for me? Really? You? No. And I don't really expect these new guys to get anything. So let's just train 12 new guys to. Okay, that's a little bit strange, but I'll take it. I think that's because this entire system is a little bit fucked. And it's not considered my territory for some reason. Yeah, there is no state owner for some reason. Okay. Don't crash. I'm always scared of these hang-ups. Especially when you're playing modded games, you know, because you're like, something's happening that the game doesn't like. So yeah, but yeah, after the Russian war is done and it's gonna be over at some point, you know, they're losing factories um, and they're they're unable to resist me. I am I'm also getting close to factoring them. I think definitely got more, more civilian factories and also got more. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm winning on on, on except navy, but this is my sea. Well, I've got some bits over here, but I don't really give a shit. I could start deploying ships here, but. No. It seems that the uh, more uh, careful approach is the way to do it. I still got 14 million people ready to give their lives for, for the empire. Beautiful. And I just now need just a lot of political uh, power. So, because I want to form that historical nation, baby. And I definitely don't think there's anything in here that I want. Yeah, air doctrine research breed. Yeah, that's what I want. Strategic bombing, factory, factory stuff. Political population. Yeah, that's what I want. Click the set the alert settlement. Uh, you're gonna do the policies top bar should pop up. Oh, okay, no, that's just a lot of them. Not gonna bother. Don't don't care. Stop. Just bother me. Okay. Military police is done. So yeah, I guess investing in navy is now an idea. We'll just get really good destroyers and some carriers, because carriers are, of course, really viable. If you listen to the end of the last episode, the little rant that I went on, well, not really a rant, but just saying that navy is—it's uh, different. The battleship and the cruiser were gone. The frigate, however, made a return. Small ships. Small, agile, fast ships supporting, um, like what the cruiser role used to be. It's now done by the destroyer, but the destroyer is now more done by the. Like we, we changed the, the way all of, all of that all of it functioned. And yeah, the carrier is just the invention of the carrier. Well, can, can you call it an invention or whatever you want to call it? That changed. Uh, Naval warfare. That just, that just that like the aircraft in general just it's such a shift in warfare, it's insane. And now it's the you know, it's the, the combination of it is with drones, you know. It's insane, you know, drones and that kind of stuff. We don't need to risk going anywhere anymore, it's just like we can drone strike the fuck out of you. Yeah, we don't like you, we just send a drone to your home. I think we don't can build- we can't even build in this state. This state is just fucked. This state is weird. Alright. Let's look- 
looking good. It's looking really good. Everybody else is struggling. We are. Uh, I actually just noticed I might need to add in a couple of states in the uh, war call, the war strike thingy. Oh, and why don't you two? Uh, instead of you going there, why don't you go over there? You assist that one. There you go. There you go. Advanced rocket artillery. All right, let's keep going. We're only still in November 1950, so yeah, we're going fast for research. 999 days, so that seems a little bit excessive. Did we swap out AA guns? No, we didn't, uh, didn't we? Alright, whatever. Um, how are we on aircraft? I think we're pretty good, yeah. you an aircraft you know in case they need to protect something I really don't know why I'm doing this you know what no we're gonna assign you differently I think you don't you don't need it uh, we're gonna just put you in with uh, with these lads we got a war goal against France well I can't declare war against you as long as you're in there secure the peninsula you're not in any faction, aren't you? Yeah, so we could just take them out. Especially during this period, that would be the smartest thing to do, I guess. Mm. Alright, what are we gonna do? It's the following. Gonna stretch you out again. And I'm gonna just get half of you. You know... Who says we cannot be, you know, doing our own little inter little integration work at certain stages and the, the likes? I think you want to support this one, to be honest. Yeah, definitely. Okay, you should go over there. I think we're running into the problem, and it's a problem between quotation marks that our front line is fucking long. Because we're not really seeing any push through the center. Yeah, okay, so I, I have an idea. Uh, I'm gonna st stop the attack for now. I'm gonna let the um, yellow army spread out. And I'm gonna reassign the uh, special forces. I'm gonna just move you to over the front, because I like you. Uh, we're gonna reassign him to uh, this bit over here and just push the center column in. So I don't really like how they're spread out right now, so we're gonna give him a little bit of time to do that. Right, got our first destroyer hull. We're just gonna, um, so the plan for this naval research is just gonna uh, march through the uh, destroyer line. Um, and we're just going to do a lot of upgrades, because uh, I doubt uh, they can do catapult aircraft like that. So I'm just going to go for upgrades that I think are possible to be gained by them. Alright, so I should probably take a look at is did the mod developers add in any new stuff? No. And we're still using AA on them, aren't we? Yeah. So what I could do is start producing some advanced rock artillery. Like about 30 factories worth. So we'll do this. There we go. 47, 43. Start producing them. Philip! And then we'll start adding. I don't think our Yeah, modern air engines will probably get them at some point point instead of something else. I'm probably gonna take out the artillery and replace it with rocket artillery. Add some more soft attack, more breakthrough. Yeah, so it's definitely worthwhile. Okay, but first we need to start producing some of the some of the things that we need to. Um from smart. I'm gonna just change it over for you. Rocket artillery is safe. And I wanna know now. How much do we need to swap them out for you? That's the wrong thing. Yeah, the numbers of these things add is insane. 
Nah, I like initiative. I genuinely, genuinely do. Um, yeah, these are just too good to not do. So, yeah, we'll switch it for right now. How much do we need to do this? Uh, we need a total of 800 something. Okay. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, are you on the front line yet? All right, you're arriving. Good. Let's see. Secure Peninsula. That was because it's a war goal against Korea. Okay, I think these guys are spread out a little bit better. I want the aid of these guys. Delete this one. Set up uh, like right here, guy. There we go. And a straight push through the middle like that. We're not gonna do that just yet. Um, why not actually? Just gotta wait till. Hey, did we see like a cool little statue somewhere? I, I saw something. Hmm, no, I guess not. Well, that looked like one of those Soviet statues for a second. It might be just an infantry man that had no uh, icon on it, or I'm just going nuts. Which is also a very good possibility. Okay, decisions available. What one? Which one? It's probably some stability one. Or recognizing a government in exile. Yeah, I've done that enough. Piss off. Exploit his potentials. Yada, yada, yada. Alright, so... It's gonna wait for... How long? A couple more. Game is not really responding. Shift click. Wow. Pause. Can I? Apparently not. Okay. Sure. I guess. Um, okay. Equipment's looking good. Getting a pretty decent air force by now. I think our biggest problem at some point is going to be the fact that these aircraft won't have enough range. Um, what I'm going to do, however, is going to add in another group of... Uh, apparently... Are these my old jet fighters? Where did we get these from? My 50s jet fighter. Oh, whatever. Um, Cass. And... Luckily, we don't have like 40,000 different aircraft types. This kind of saves me a lot of trouble. Uh, you just fly this, you just fly that. And get added on to there. Kind of just increase our aircraft potential. Um, what are we researching here? I don't know. Ah, right, yeah, tanks. Ah, tanks, 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 tanks. Um, oh, wow, well, I want the infrastructure as number one priority, to be honest. Eh, there's harbors I don't really give a crap about. All right, fast rocket artillery. I think that was the last one. Wasn't it? Might invest a little bit. Yeah, so why don't we go in naval doctrine for a little bit? We're going to go for carrier operations. Uh, base strike. There we go. Because fleet and being seems very redundant for us, I guess. I never will have a large fleet. I will never do this, something with battleships. It's just going to be destroyers and carriers. That's it. And, well, maybe submarines, but... Nothing spectacular, at least. Um, like, no, no million gun battleships, that kind of stuff. Ah, that would be cool, by the way. A million guns on battleships, let's be honest. Um, right. Just waiting for this to fire, and now we're gonna take over China. China, Jesus, Korea. Well, it is, of course, China. It's just not China yet. After that, we're gonna definitely vassalize Japan because they have no army. And they do have a navy. Our general's presence will update its field forces. Okay. Cool. Just takes forever to train these lots, though. Are we. Yeah, we have got the most elite troops that can kind of stuff already, right? So. Declare the war, conquer. The Soviet Union will probably call them in. Gonna, I can no longer shift click on orders apparently. 
So we'll just activate it both at the same time. Alright. Well, let that just happen. I'm going to ignore that one for now. And we're back on the offensive. And hopefully with the special forces we can push down the middle front here, which is problematic. And it looks like we can. Really? Because these guys have a lot more high aggression stance. I think a big problem though is with all of the attrition that we've been suffering and new equipment, that kind of stuff coming in. Um, we are uh, losing a lot of veterancy. Now what I could do is um, get uh, hospital things. Oh, what the fuck is already called again? I have no idea. Field hospitals. Okay, close enough. But then I need to use another slot, which I don't really want, so... So far, looking pretty good. We, we are... We, we do struggle with their modern tanks. Don't that standing here. We just probably take this guy. We can penetrate him, right? No, we can't. Shit. Okay, so that is a problem. Hold this. Nice, we got our carrier, I believe. So yeah, at some point I need to stay, start taking a look at what here is uh, necessary for us, because I believe um, like these are not usable by... These might be the basic medium batteries. I need to check, take a look if I can get batteries that can... Which type of battery I can get on which type of ship. Because these are heavy batteries, which I definitely cannot get on, on small ships. These might be... But it might be just just the basic light batteries. Um, definitely need these two. Definitely need these. Definitely don't want. My, don't care much about my form forever. We might get them at some point. And the rest is just ships. And luckily, the destroyers don't really have much of a hull line continuation, so that saves us a lot of time. So let's get better carrier hulls. I just know, realized we are building nuclear weapons. I don't have to even got the aircraft to drop the damn things. Do we still need strategic bombers? Yeah. <laughs> oh well. Um, you are taking your damn ass time, aren't you? Get into Pyongyang. Get into Seoul. And you get into Kao Pusan. That's it. Yeah. There's a movie about that place. There's probably a lot of movies, but it's, uh, I think it's called Road to Pusan. This is a... Very famous war movie. Am I saying that correctly? Oh god, I don't want to know. Let's see. Come on, lagginess is always great. What do we got? Assuming leadership. Uh, uh, road to... That's not a movie. Busan? Road to Busan. Nope. It's not a movie. Don't know why that then just rings a bell. Apparently something in my brain says there's something that's a movie worthwhile in my brain. That's great, but that's the case. So yeah, this is a problem. We cannot penetrate these modern tanks. Well we have aerial spirit we should have aerial superiority. Yeah, we definitely have. We're bombing the crap out of these lads. This looks pretty cool, by the way. You know, getting this much aerial superiority over the Soviet Union. Like, how much of an air force do you even have? Pretty decent one. It's not half the size of ours. But, you know, we... I think our jet... I don't know what they're using. Can I take a look at that? Is there any way to really quickly discern... Okay, so there's no aircraft in any of these zones, so they've got it stationed mostly over here. Wait, wait, they're not employing any aircraft. Oh, we got some here. So, they're mostly using um, a lot of stuff, but it seems most of it is just very outdated stuff. And uh, we're using these uh, fairly modern 1950s, well, mostly 1950s jet fighters, but we're, we're you know... Can a jet fighter? Our average air attack is higher. 
Our average agility is higher. Wow, our jet agility being higher. Jet aircraft are notoriously not agile. Uh, I don't care for now about that. Uh, rocket interceptors. Don't care about those either. Uh, let's see. Range, reliability, safe. There we go. That's not what I have to do. Stockpile, because I don't want any old aircraft. Alright, I'm looking over here. Okay, um... I really like this mod, by the way. It's just, I'm hoping, I hope that they are gonna keep development shit active. Because uh, they did say um, they're gonna cease uh, any new features for now. Because, um... This should be the war with Korea done. Really? Okay, um... Quickly dominate Japan, I guess. Um, these ten. Can I convert these to airborne? No, because it would exceed our special forces cap. Right, what I think I need to do with these lads is one of them change to a regular division. And then uh, I can swap these all out to airborne. No, we are how far above our cap are we? Minus three. Okay, so I have a couple more mountaineers somewhere. Yeah, can I just, just delete. And move two in here. Add two here. And switch these to airborne. Um, this should work. No, wait. I might need. I might need to update a tick. Room for zero divisions. Okay. So I need to delete one more. It's just like, you know what? Let me just do this. It's annoying. There we go. One, two, three, four. There we go. Swap over to airborne. There we go. You as well. So we go to airborne. Right, uh, paratroopers, no paratroopers in the command group. There we go, paratroopers. And for now, I'm gonna just tell these guys to sit here. Then I need to find my... Where are they? I cannot find them, of course. Oh, there they are. Over here. Uh, we'll wait for them to arrive. Shouldn't be too long. I'm hoping this can be done by helicopter at some point. Field forces update. All right. Just uh, deploy these guys. Like all, all of our units are green anyway, so you know, don't care. Just gonna wait for these aircraft to arrive. They're not here yet. Where they are. I think I'm gonna delete this navy for now. Because they're gonna be pretty much useless anyway. I think that might be our last uh, research on this level. So we're gonna go and invest a little bit more in navy because we're only 951. I don't think I'll ever go to that point though. But in case, you know, we would need it. I don't know. Uh, carrier stuff. Um, let's just start with uh, smoke generators, that kind of stuff first. Oh wait, are some some other research that we actually have to do, which we could do after base right? It's the radar oh. systems. Uh, okay, so you're gonna power drop into. Okay, you still haven't arrived yet. Jeez, how long does it take for an aircraft to arrive? Okay, we're still flying. Now they're here, all right. You have no missions, that is correct. Really? Infantry map mode. Power drop, right. And we'll power drop directly into Nagasaki. Assign these lads to it. Wait for the war to be ready, and then we can dominate Japan. So that's the last thing we were basically gonna do. I think we may probably do that before the end of the uh, uh, 
campaign, so to speak. I think we're gonna be stuck with the Russians for a while. Um, steel ship designs? That's the most Soviet thing I think they've ever done. And it should, especially during the, 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 the World War. Um, some of the, a lot of the initial uh, Soviet redevelopment of tanks was not based on their own research, it was based on foreign research. Uh, I think only after the war, the um, most of the countries became a lot more obsessed in um, maintaining their own uh, research integrity to prevent other nations from uh, basically exploiting. Like, if they don't know what technology we're using, they cannot exploit it, right? That's the idea. They got really secretive and protective. And that went for all the, like, the NATO and the uh, Warsaw Pact nations. If they don't know exactly what we have, they cannot counter it. So let's not share any technology, if possible. Which is understandable. But I, th I think inherently um, counter counterproductive to advancement. You know? That's why I think what I like about Tesla. I'm going, by the way, on, on all over the place in my conversation today. I guess what I like about Tesla. You know, they developed this new technology. This is what I hate about it as well. They okay. So let me, here we go. They developed this new technology to make it freely available for everybody to use. They have no patent rights. They, um, it's, it's, you know, everybody can use it. If, and you don't even need to pay them for it, right? It's just like we have this technology. Please use it, which is pretty damn great when you think about it, right? So, what do most companies do? They don't use it because it's not their tech. So they start trying to develop their own tech. It's like what? Why? Just, just. I don't know. I don't know. I need to do something with these tanks, though, which is a problem. I need to take this guy safely. Yeah, so we keep hitting these tanks, which is impossible. Uh, we still have more than enough equipment. Um, speaking of which, edit. I think I got the rocket support engine right Yeah, we do. Alright. Let's see what happens if we put artillery in here. We gain a little bit of soft tech, we lose everything else. No, that's not gonna happen. And initiative is good, because I think, if I remember correctly, initiative uh, increases the chance that you have a attack order that counters that of the enemy, if I remember correctly. I don't know this for sure, so don't pin this on me. Um, does it say that anywhere? Let's figure that out for a second. The higher initiative unit to have, the quicker it can reinforce into a battle, then the quicker it gets in its planning done. Okay, that's actually not even that great then. Huh. Let's just Google that. Oi4 is in worth it. Signal companies and their initiative. Okay, this is a specific topic I want to take a look at. How much longer is it going? I don't know. Let's see that. Mobile forces only. I think it depends on where you're going to stay. Well, we have a chance to join a combat during the day. Well, 2% more units in the day. And having a con contested combat is having a single division joining combat early can take the balance in your favor. Only one division can reinforce in an hour. A lot of calculations are going on here. This is, uh, second one, here's the chance of reserve. Yep, 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 yep. They're both useful in tanks. Recons make them slightly faster, and signals make them join battle faster. If you choose between two, relative signal. Recons is supposed to give you an edge and choose a combat tactics, right? They're not that. You know what? Since this is just infantry and they're mostly reading like, hey, these are useful on, on mobile divisions. Let's just swap them out for... Uh, no. Artillery. We, yeah, we get more supply usage with a less recovery rate and our initiative goes down to 30%. Losing that manpower, we got better stats overall. There we go. We'll swap out on. We don't even. Yeah, we can keep the initiative in you guys and just get the rocket up to the way. How many do we even need? Wow, that's not even that bad. 
Oh, we got resistance to occupation going on. Yes. Uh, let's start adding in this. And this, and this, and this. Nope. In this, this. He rolls. Uh, nope. Yep. Uh, nope. Okay, so I think we've got the entire... F everything that's not on the front line now. Set back in. There we go. Oh, right. I also need to get these in. Of course. How many do you need for to you? Still only 13 guys. Well, you have a lot more, so go for it. Oops, there we go. Atlantic Republic joined the common term. Okay, did this thing please <gasps> just flip over? Looks hostile. Yes, it looks hostile. Good. Um, any, one of you? Go over here. Take this for me. Take this, take this. Right. Um, do we have aerial dominance over China? I think I could get it if I wanted to. Uh, do they have aircraft? They've got a decent air force, so this might not be as easy as I thought it would be. Um, yeah, we're going to air units active in the region. Okay, what I need to do then is... Let's just get... 200 jet fighters to uh, just air superiority. You don't need to intercept. Right. Okay. Well, the tank is dead. Not anything really to do. So there we go. Let's get some radar going. Which is very nice, which is under engineering. Yeah, so definitely gonna research those. And uh, I think, do I only need this one? Because just get the latest ballistic computer. Director fire, mechanical range keeper, and the ballistic computer. Yeah, I just only need the one. Unless I want smaller ships, but I tend to make uh, quality over quality. He says, well, mostly building cheap ass destroyers. Or well, planning on building cheap ass destroyers. What do you got for me, buddy? Nothing? Oh, okay, it's just truck to Japan. Yeah, so Japan will be probably a fairly easy win. Um, which will give me access to a navy. Soviet Union is slowly but surely collapsing. We are producing very decent amounts of production right now. And uh, yeah, we're seizing the means of production. The Empire of Japan submits. Great! Uh, okay, that that makes things a lot easier. Okay then. Sure. You know what? Run as a company in airborne technology. You know what? Let's just get them. Alright, so you guys just arrived. Well, you can all just switch back to... Uh, about new divisions and uh, get pushed back on the front line, I guess. Assist your brothers over there. And that means that these guys can just go. And I think you can start flying uh, su uh, supply missions again. There we go. Now we don't need to do that. Alright, what I do need to do is... Oh, that's another tank there. That's a problem. Um, can I... Can I this guy? There we go. Hold it. I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I think we just reshifted the line for some reason, and their troops just mostly spending a lot of time. Shifting about! Change the color name of the Emperor of Japan. Yes! Thank you. I don't know what name it's gonna be though, but so the color shifted slightly towards me more, and that's not the Empire of Japan, okay? Oh, our proper nation is the proper guidance and naval constructions. Perhaps le le leasing our ships can provide this. What would this do? Transfer a destroyer. What does this do? 
Seize the navy. Navy power will not probably be worrying if left built without interference. Perhaps you'd seize it to keep the peace. Nah. Nah. Still shouldn't have any navy, right? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I let them keep their own navy. Let them do their own damn thing. I'm, I'm fine with it. I just hope that they at some point would change their laws. It seems like the entire AI seems to be deactivated, to be honest, in a way. All right. Um, yeah, it seems our biggest problem is that we're running into tanks. Well, at least get that going. Um, why don't we build a, a tiny radar station here? Foreign territory. Uh, I'd rather just build one here and here to get more view on what they're doing. More view, bigger view. Bigger, better, stronger, whatever. Um, carry home. Anyway, we're 35 minutes. I'm going to end the episode here. I want to thank you guys for watching and see you hopefully in the next one. Um, yeah, just cleaning up Russia. Just going to take a long time. We are we don't have that much anti-tank warfare. And yeah, that is a problem. Hopefully, we can get that done at some point. I don't know. With that, thank you guys for watching. See you guys hopefully in the next one. Bye-bye.